Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. If you watch any of my screen record videos, you've probably noticed that I have this circular webcam effect, which I find really cool, but I never really knew how to do it until recently. And so now I'm going to show you how to actually do this on your own screen recordings. And I'm going to do this in my favorite screen recording tool, which is OBS. Now, if you're not familiar with how to use OBS, I do have an entire beginner series video. I will leave that in the description area below if you're interested. So once you have OBS up on your sources, choose your video capture source, right click it and go to filters. Right now I already have this built, but I'm going to turn it off for now. So you can kind of see it from beginning to end. And now we have our standard square webcam. So how would you actually create this circular background? Well, there's many ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the two main ways that I do it. And it all has to do with image editors. And so we're going to first do this using GIMP. So this is a free and open source, basically Photoshop version that doesn't cost you money. So all you have to do is go to file new and put in your image size dimensions. I'm going to use 1280 by 720. And once you have that, the default background is white and we don't want that. So we're going to create a new layer and on this new layer, make sure it's transparent. And then we'll go to this background and delete this. So now you have a transparent layer. Now you're actually going to need to create the circular shape. So here you have the shape tool It's the lips tool. So choose that. And when you make the shape, make sure you hold down the shift key so that it forms a circle and not any lips. So there is the circle. And now we have our circle. Now we can fill this circle with a color. And in this case, we're going to fill it with black. So you'll go to your bucket fill tool. Make sure your foreground color is black and just fill it. Once you have that, you could use this move tool and you could move it around to the center. And once you have all of that, all you would need to do is export this as a ping file. So we go to file, export as, make sure it is a ping file. And I'm just going to call this circle one. And I'm going to show you the second way that I do this. So we'll just go ahead and save that, export it. And if I go to pictures, it should be here. And there's circle one. Okay. Now, the second way to do this, I think it's a lot easier. You can use a website called pixlr.com. All you have to do is go here, open pixel editor and create a new image. And just like earlier, your dimension is going to be 1280 by 720. And definitely choose transparent as the background. Now, in this tool, I think it's a lot easier to do. What you would do is choose this right here, the drawing tool, choose a shape. And the shape right here is ellipse and make sure this fill shape is checked. It should be checked by default and the color is black. So you would do the same thing as you did in GIMP. You would hold down the shift key and then make your circle. And I really feel it's a lot easier to do than here. It's more uniform. It's more perfect in my opinion. And once you have that, then you would do use this move tool, move the shape in the middle. Now you would simply just save this, go to file, save and Make sure you choose ping and you can name it. I'm just going to name this circle or maybe circle webcam. Okay. So, okay. I'm going to save this under pictures. So now that you actually have your circle shapes right here with the transparent background, you can now use this in OBS. So go back to your video capture source, right click again, go to filters. And on here, you're going to add a filter right down here with the plus sign. And what you want to choose is image mass blend. And you can name it whatever you want, but I would just leave it that way for now. And here on the type, make sure that you choose alpha mass, alpha channel. And on the path, this is where you can choose your shape. So we'll go to browse, go to pictures where I saved it. And here's circle webcam, say open and bam, there you go. And now you actually have your circle and you could adjust this as you like. So right there, make it large or small as you want. You can move it wherever you want. And whenever you have it in position and size that you like, you know, all you have to do is just make sure it's there. And then I normally would just lock it and it'll stay in that position and size. So that is actually how you use the filters, the shapes within OBS to create this really cool circular webcam effect. And you can create many other shapes. Your imagination is pretty much the only limits. 
And all you have to do is go through the same steps that I just showed you a little bit earlier. And so that is it on how you could do this really quickly and simply. And if you had any thoughts on this or maybe you had any other types of ways in order for you to do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my tutorial on how to use OBS, I will also leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.